Let's look at a couple of uh, example problems of using properties of the Laplace transform. Uh, first problem to take a look at is problem 4.2-3 and here we're given an x of s and asked to find the corresponding time function. The Laplace transform is 2s plus 5 over s squared plus 5s plus 6 multiplied by e to the minus 2s. We know that uh, a time delay corresponds to multiplication by an exponential. First thing we'll need to do is actually do a partial fraction expansion of this uh, uh, ratio of polynomials. Uh, so we can expand the denominator here as s plus 2 times s plus 3 e to the minus 2s. And then um, from the cover-up method, letting s equal minus 2 here, uh, we'll have 1 in the numerator and 1 in the denominator. So this term becomes 1. And similarly, the coefficient for the uh, s plus 3 term is also 1, all times the e to the minus 2s. And um, so we can find x of t, cor corresponding inverse transform to 1 over s plus 2 would be e to the minus 2t u of t. So, but multiplying by the exponential gives us a delay. So the inverse transform is e to the minus 2, t minus 2, u of t minus 2. And then similarly, this term would be e to the minus 3t. But because of the delay, we have t minus 2, u of t minus 2 for the final uh, inverse Laplace transform. Uh, here's Another example um, from the same problem, part C, where x of s is equal to e to the minus s minus 1 plus 3 all over s squared minus 2s plus 5. I'm going to actually um, uh, pull out the, the numerator term, e to the minus s minus 1 uh, plus 3. Uh, the de denominator actually has complex roots, so I'm going to take the approach of actually just uh, completing the square. So this will be an s minus 1 squared. This will give me uh, s squared minus 2s minus 2. And then, um, I'm sorry, uh, s squared minus 2s plus 1, and then I need to add 4, or trying to match one of the patterns in the table, 2 squared here. Uh, the e to the minus s uh, minus 1 term, I'm going to factor out the e to the minus 1, and that'll leave me uh, just an e to the first power times e to the minus s. So I recognize this as, as just a constant times the Laplace transform. The e to the minus s is going to be a delay. And then I have the 3. And then all times um, the rest is 1 squared plus 2 squared. Um, you can find this in my uh, table. It actually becomes a uh, uh, an exponential in e to the plus t here and then a sign of 2t, um, but since that's all being multiplied by e to the minus s in this first term, that'll give me a delay of 1, and I have this constant uh, e here in front. There's also a factor of 1 half associated with, I have to get a 2 in the numerator here, so I can pull a 1 half out, and this becomes minus 1 because of the multiplication by e, uh, e to the minus s sine of 
2t minus 1 times u of t minus 1. And then similarly, I'll have uh, the, the second term, the plus 3 times this. Again, I need to get a 2 in the numerator, so I'd write this as 3 halves. And so the second term becomes 3 halves e to the t, this part. There's no delay, sine of 2t u of t. So I skipped a few steps there. You may want to um, uh, work through that yourself to verify that uh, this is the correct result. Um, another example. This problem uh, 4.2-5. They say starting with the fact that delta t, which I'll call, denote as my time domain function, x of t, has Laplace transform x of s equal to 1, use various uh, transform properties to find uh, transforms of uh, first several functions in our, in our transform table. So um, let, let's look uh, the first function uh, in our transform table is u of t. Um, well, we can write this as actually the integral of our impulse, which I'm just going to de de denote x of tau to match, to match the table. And then so because of this relationship, we know then that y1 of s is going to be equal to 1 over s times x of s, but uh, since x of t is an impulse, x of s is 1, so this just becomes 1 over s. So the Laplace transform of, of u of t is equal to 1 over s. And we could have gotten that by uh, you know, other methods. Uh, we found the uh, Laplace transform of an exponential previously, uh, so you could also get it that way. Um, another example, uh, y2 of t is uh, t u of t. We could get that by integrating this uh, once again, but uh, let's actually take a, a different approach. This is t times y1 of t. And uh, so we use the time multiplication property um, or the frequency differentiation property. It says if we multiply by minus t in the time domain, then the corresponding Laplace transforms in this case, y2 of s, the Laplace transform of y2 of t, would be equal to the negative derivative with respect to s of y1 of s. Um, y1 of s is 1 over s, or s to the minus 1. So the derivative of, of, of that would be uh, minus 1, 1 over s squared, minus signs cancel, and I get 1 over s squared for the result. Um, I'll skip uh, part c there, uh, which is just uh, repeated multiplication by t. Um, that's relatively easy to prove by then um, using induction. Um, part d, y to the 3t is e to the lambda t u of t. Um, which I can write as e to the lambda t times, again, y1 of t. Uh, but now I'm going to use the, the modulation property, which, which uh, um, applies when we multiply in the time dom domain by uh, an exponential. And so that property says that if we have this relation in time, y3 is equal to e to the lambda t, t y1, and y3 of s would be a time-shifted version of y1 of s. y1 of s was just 1 over s, so I replace s by s minus lambda, and I've got the Laplace transform now of e to the lambda t uh, u of t. Um, 
Uh, similarly, the, the, I could get the T, E to the lambda T transform um, by, again, uh, applying the uh, time multiplication property. Let's look at uh, a couple others uh, kind of quickly. I'll skip that one. Um, let's look at the, the next row um, where we're asked to find the Laplace transform of e to the j beta t times u of t. Okay. This is e to the j, sorry, b t times u of t was y1 of t. And so again, the corresponding relationship here would be y5 of s would be, this is just that uh, modulation property, would be y1 of s minus jb, or, so I'm going to substitute s minus jb in for s, and then similarly, uh, um, from Euler's formula, if we have y6 of t is cosine of bt u of t, I can write that as one half e to the j bt plus e to the minus j bt all times u of t. I've just found the Laplace transform of these individual terms from above, so I can write down the Laplace transform of cosine bt ut, then would just be one half and e to the j bt ut, that's this, 1 over s minus j b, and then similarly the second term with the minus j b becomes 1 over s plus j b. I can uh, uh, write these over a, a, a common denominator, actually what I'd have, I'll show the some of the details here, um, s minus s minus j b times s plus j b, and then uh, here I would have to have, for this first term I'd have to have uh, an s plus j b, and for the one over, to get the 1 over s plus j b, I'm going to add then um, s minus j b. And then with a little simplification, here in the numerator, these terms cancel. I'll have a 2s, then that's multiplied by a 1 half in front, so that just reduces to s. Now if I look at the, the, the product of s minus j b times s plus j b, I'll get an s squared. I'm going to get a minus j b s term, and then uh, uh, j b times s will give me a plus j b s term. Those are going to cancel. And then finally, I'm going to add in minus JB times plus JB minus time minus J times plus J will give me a plus one, so I get S squared plus B squared. So you know, using that um, modulation property with uh, this uh, uh, complex exponential, and then applying Euler's formula, I'm uh, able to get the uh, Laplace transform of cosine of BT. Um, do exactly uh, a very similar procedure to get uh, the Laplace transform of sine of um, bt, so sine of bt u of t, and from Euler's formula that's 1 over 1 over 2j times e to the j bt minus e to the minus j bt u of t and so the corresponding Laplace transform y6 of s would be 1 over 2j and then I've got these individual transforms 1 over s minus j b now minus 1 over s plus j b can combine these uh, over a common de denominator and uh, do some cancellation. The result is b over s squared plus b squared. So uh, we're able to derive most of the results in the table.
just starting from uh, um, the Laplace transform of delta t, which is equal to 1, and then uh, applying the various properties.